Welcome to Tech Links, Cutting Wedges. Our ancestors survived because of cutting wedges shaped tools. Indeed, each step in human progress, from caves to computers, is enabled by inventing better tools. With science, people progress from stone to bronze and then iron tools. When we see everyday objects, may we wonder at the tools used to make them. Simple wedges connect through time to our complex technologies today. Let's start our true story with V-shaped rocks. 1. Stone Wedges Long ago, people put V-shaped stones on wood handles to make axes. Axes chop wood to make our homes and get fuel to cook our food. Next, people chip rocks to make large spear points. Cleverly, people work together to hunt big animals. Also, people chip rocks to make short arrowheads. Bows launch the missile like arrows to hunt small animals. Our ancestors used these axes to make boats to get around. Later, people make wedge-shaped tools to plow soil, plant seeds, and kill weeds. People throughout time turn wedges into weapons too. Over time, people discover different metals for tools. Egyptians use bronze tools to make pyramids. Later, stronger tools are made. Next. Wedges shape wood. 2. Cut wood. Metal tools with sharp wedge edges make wooden parts. People use springy poles for power to turn round parts like wooden wine screws. Also, wedge shaped saws turn trees into lumber. People use straight wedge edge tools to make flat pieces of wood like tables and benches. In the past, wedge tip tools make wooden homes that put roofs over our relatives' heads. Before cars, horses pull humans in wooden carts and carriages. In the 1500s, Wooden ships enable the human age of exploration. 500 years later, the first airplanes fly. They are mostly made of wood and cloth. 3. Metal Shapes Over time, people invent better wedge-shaped tools to make more precise metal parts. People cut spiral wedges on long metal cylinders to make accurate screws. Screws are winding wedges. With precise lead screws, people make better metal lathes. Strong, sharp, wedge cutting tools turn round metal parts. People make metal tools that cut precise flat shapes called planes. These tools cut teeth into metal gears for glocks. These spiral tools called mills make many different shapes. Special whetstones and grinding wheels with very tiny hard wedge shaped grains sharpen tools. Next, we energize wedges. 4. Power Wedges Powered machines move web shaped tools to make parts that people use. In the past, this machine tool cuts cannon bores. It also makes accurate cylinders for steam engines that power an industrial revolution. Today, metal lathes make nuts and screws that hold parts together. Also, lathes make precise pistons for cars. Car engine parts must be precisely flat. Our world moves with gears made by wedge-shaped tools. Electricity powers wedge-tipped mill tools that shape airplane parts like these wing spars. Tools have to be carefully controlled to make quantities of quality parts. 5. 
controlled cutters. At first, skilled people control the machine tools to make parts. Next, people invent motors to move tools. They are controlled by numbers and math. People program these early machines to punch tapes. When computers are improved, people write software to control the machine tools. Today, computer-controlled machines have many wedge-shaped cutting tools. Simply said, without wedge tools, there will be no cars or most of the everyday objects we use. People are currently working on ways for computer machine tools to self-learn how to make parts. Next, more wedges. 6. Everyday Wedges Wedge-shaped objects are all around us. Our teeth are wedges. Gear teeth are too. These garden hand tools are wedges. Can openers, scissors, and zippers use wedges too. Like water pumps, wedge-shaped ship propellers push water backwards. This pushes ships forward. Our complex high-tech world has objects made by simple, wedge-shaped tools, which leads us to wedges on wings. 7. Airplane Edges The first planes have propellers that are twisting, turning wedges. They cut through the air and push it back to thrust the plane forward. Propeller or prop wings have flat, straight wings. Wings have wedge-shaped cross sections. This causes air pressure to push the planes up. This is called lift. Today, jet engines have fan blades. Can you guess their shape? Yup! Wedges! They push together or compress air into the engine. More air or oxygen causes the fuel to burn better. Why do jets have wedge-shaped wings? Powerful jet engines will break flat wings. Jet engines are so powerful that they would make flat wings fall apart. Thankfully, air flows smoothly over the swept-back wedge-shaped wings with jet engines. People in computers steer planes with parts that have wedge-shaped cross-sections. On airplanes, the important front face is called the leading edge. The idiom, cutting or leading edge, means the latest in technology. To close, ancient people used sharp rock wedges for axes and arrows. Next, sharp metal tools cut wood for our homes, carts, and ships. Later, Stronger tools shape metal parts too. These are examples of wedges that are around me. Today, computers control machines with wedge tools that make many of my high-tech objects. Wedge-shaped tools make many airplane parts too. Jet planes are even wedge-shaped. When we know about wedges, we better understand the science inside the cutting edge tech of our world today. See the catalog for more Alfred books. Printed copies are also available on Amazon. Over 4 million free Alfred ebooks and videos have been downloaded. Subscribe now!